Back at Cool Today Park here in Northport, Florida, I'm Kevin McAlpin with 680 The Fan and the Atlanta Braves Radio Network. This is our continuing coverage of Braves Spring Training 2020. It is Friday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Hope everyone's having a great day. It's a busy day here at the ballpark once again, as, of course, Braves pitchers and catchers once again getting after it on the backfields. But earlier today, we also saw a few more position players roll in. Ender and CRT and Johan Camargo each of whom took batting practice here on the main field at Cool Today Park. And I got to tell you, I put a blog up on our website earlier today. Johan Camargo, to me, is probably the leader in the clubhouse for the guy here in the best shape of his life. You know, we joke every spring training, there's somebody who comes in and says, I'm in the best shape of my life. Well, Johan Camargo is down about 20 pounds. Looks like he put on some muscle, really trimmed things up a little bit this offseason. Worked hard, and he was here taking batting practice today and putting on a power display to both fields, not only to the berm and left, but also to the truest pavilion out in right center field. So ball really jumping off his bat. Now I know it's early and it's batting practice and you don't put a whole lot of stock in that, but very encouraging signs. And it's something that Brian Snitker pointed out today. He said, the fact that Riley and Camargo are already here, that's a great sign. Both those guys competing for the third base job here over the next five plus weeks of spring training. We'll see how it all plays out for me. Johan Camargo, the leader in the clubhouse for uh, that uh, opening day nod at the hot corner, but who knows? Every spring training, there's a storyline that pops up out of nowhere that we don't expect and we don't see coming. Maybe Austin Riley becomes that guy here this spring. We know the guy can hit. He did it for a, a, a large sample size. It wasn't a small sample size we saw when Riley came up to the big leagues when he was hitting a home run every uh, every 15 to 20 minutes it felt like so uh good to see both those guys here getting their early work in freddie freeman and uh, company probably going to roll in over the course of the weekend so we'll obviously have you covered uh, on their arrivals and what they have to say when they get here uh to northport and the braves new facility I had a chance to go on the backfields earlier today and watch some guys throw and i gotta tell you watching some of the prospects is always a lot of fun but obviously all eyes were on the group that included Max Freed here today. He was throwing to Tyler Flowers off the mound, and stuff looked crisp. Curveball looked really, really sharp, but his fastball location to me was probably the most impressive thing here in the middle of February. Stuff looked good. It was live, uh, and even Tyler Flowers kept uh, giving him nods of approval uh, after every four or five pitches. So Max Freed, uh, a guy who could be a number two or number three for the Braves, here in 2020 stuff looked really really good but I got to tell you the group after Max Freed's was even more fun to watch and that included a couple of top prospects including Ian Anderson and Kyle Muller both those guys were out there and uh, both those guys really impressive watching Rick Kranitz uh, you know keep a very close eye on those guys he kept nodding in approval as well he liked what he saw of course both those guys could potentially find their way to Atlanta later on here in the 2020 season we'll see how it all plays out but of course, the Braves have a ton of prospects knocking on the door. But as Brian Snitker said after workouts today, he said that next wave might even be even more impressive. And that's scary to think about. Uh, he had uh, really good things to say about uh, Jaciel De La Cruz, who he watched on the backfields today. So, hey, look, we talk a lot about the household names and Anderson and Muller and Wright and, and Wilson and Toussaint. Uh, but there's another wave, folks, and they're going to be just as exciting to follow their progress here in the 2020 season as well. So again, good to see Ender Inciarte here, Johan Camargo as well. And again, looking for more of the uh, regular everyday players to show up here throughout the course of the weekend. So make sure you're following all of our coverage right here on 680thefan.com, 680thefan on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course our YouTube channel as well. If you missed anything today, go back and check out the YouTube. We talked to Chris Martin, we talked to Mark Melanson, Brian Snitker, and of course we have these daily rundown videos for you each and every day, not only here in spring training, but during the regular season as well. So it was a foggy start to the day. You probably couldn't see 100 yards in front of you when we got to the complex here this morning, but as you can see, the clouds are breaking and it's another beautiful day here on the west coast of Florida. So again, appreciate you tuning into our daily rundown videos. And again, for all of our coverage, 680thefan.com, blogs, photos, videos, you name it, we got you covered from Brave Spring Training here in Northport, Florida.